Hello everyone, Will here from Confident Gaming. I'm putting this trailer reaction on Confident Gaming. I know it's normally a Will the Lemon thing, but uh, I'm putting it on Confident Gaming because we have more subscribers, which means possibly more views, which means also more views for this guy. I'm going to put the trailer link in the description below so you can watch it and you don't have to listen to my stupid ass voice. So, this is Last Soul Aside. This is a trailer. Tra yeah, a trailer made by Yang Yang. Yang Yang Bing, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce, uh, trying to sound cool doing that. It's Yang Bing, and this is one guy, an indie game he created using UE4, and you can follow it on Facebook. Uh, they have an official page, the Twitter it looks like as well. I'm gonna follow them on Twitter, um, and oh my god, like this game just looks great. <laughs> Hideo Kojima 2.0. I know it's awesome, and the game—it's all in engine trailer, so it's not just gonna be a pretty rendered cutscene, half-assed gameplay like the past Final Fantasies have been. I mean, again, you can you can argue about that all you want, but anyways, remember this is one guy. So let's watch this, and I want to give this guy as much views as much popularity as possible because. This game looks like it relies on the fans as well, and I want to be a part of it. And I want to play it, it looks awesome. Ah, get out of here. I'm gonna take one drink. Get out. Oh my god, that's awesome. Get the fast. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, it does have a Final Fantasy 15 uh, look to it. But... Of course. It's about to say, is that dude gonna help me out at all? Must we point our swords to each other?
Oh, hi. not for saving the world, just for saving myself. Oh my god! Oh, there's a little... Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, powered by Unreal Engine 4. Thanks for watching. Thank you, though! Holy shit, guys. I have so much to say about it. So... Okay. Fucking, the game, by the way, now, it does look like uh, Final Fantasy XV in some aspects that has that open world, the movement and all, but it's got that Devil May Cry hack and slash, which I fucking love. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I, I love hack and slash games, you know, getting your combo up to insane levels and being like, how in the hell is this happening? That's what I like. You got your awesome mini-map. This guy... This guy, though. God, you gotta understand, though. He didn't just make the character or anything. I'm sure he had to make the whole entire world. Which, it looked like there was pretty diverse settings. And, you know, the movement's great. I like the little paintbrush effect his sword does. Yeah, where it's like... I don't know, see. Yeah, it's got a little, little paintbrush going on there. It's like right here, this little paintbrush. That's so cool! So, um, this game looks awesome. Uh, p guys, please, follow this guy, like him on Facebook, follow his page, like him, do all the things that are on this description here. It just looks so amazing, and if it flops, so what? If it, if it comes out and it's not very good, remember, this is one guy, and if one guy can make a game like this, and make a bomb ass game this guy needs to be hired like a whole team of EA for some reason can't seem to handle shit whereas this guy I mean that's dedication right here he obviously took a long time in making it I know one of my friends does a lot of UE4 work and that shit takes time like making cloth effects and everything it takes it takes fucking time and when you have patience and you put your mind to something, you can do it. And this is what Yang, Yang, fuck, I keep saying it like that. This is what Yang Bing did. It's because fucking, look at this. Look at that, look at all the locations that are in here, guys. You got cities, you got beautiful gardens, snowy places. This must have taken a lot of time and we need to respect that. Even if the game is not that good, even if you can say, oh, it's a Final Fantasy clone, or oh, it's the exact same story as Devil May Cry, because you do fight your, it looks like your brother. So i sense sensing the Virgil-Dante sort of relationship, but that doesn't matter. Either way, he took inspiration, and this, games do this all the time, they'll take inspiration from other games, and put it in there and make it different and people don't care. So why should we care about this? I mean, care about it because it looks amazing. Like, dear God, that just looks so awesome. And then you got like your demon lord here who also looks bomb as hell. I'm sure there's gonna be tweaks and everything, but I, I'm going to play the fuck out of this game when it comes out, okay guys? And uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Again, guys, I'm not even going to advertise our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow this guy. Like him on Facebook. 
here's all the links for his official page right here. I'll put a link for the trailer in the description below. See, see, I'm copying it. I'm copying it right now. And uh, so yeah, uh, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and go subscribe to him. Because I'm sure there will be a lot more updates on YouTube as well as Facebook and Twitter as it goes on. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Excuse me. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.